Hey, today we are in Asheboro, North Carolina, and I just happened to be driving through here, and um, I wanted to show you something. Okay, there's a lot of traffic, but there is a Black & Decker water tower up there. Way off in the distance, you can see that Black & Decker water tower. This used to be Black & Decker. This was a Black & Decker factory, and I worked here on two separate occasions. I made, um, actually, you know what? I've worked here on three separate occasions. Uh, during the summers, a couple times when I was in college, I came uh, and worked here for the summer and made really good money. I made toaster ovens for two summers. And then after I graduated from college, after I graduated in 1995, I came to work here full time and I made snake lights. I worked six nights a week, uh, about 48 to 50 some hours a week, making snake, snake lights in this factory right here. So I, I don't know, I just thought that was cool. I thought I'd show you. It's not, a it's not Black & Decker anymore. They actually moved the entire operation down to Mexico. So they don't make them here anymore, but they used to all be made in the USA, but they don't do that anymore. So unfortunately the factory closed down. I think now it's some sort of clothing outlet, like, I don't know, uh, hospital scrubs and stuff like that. I don't know, but yeah, it's really big. You can't really tell. And way up there is a miniature golf place. And I used to go in, there's a little entrance, a side entrance back there that goes to this big parking lot. And I used to go in back there and that's where I used to park. Um, all this parking out here was, it wasn't for the people who worked here. Um, I don't know who parked out here, but the employees had to park in the back. But anyway, they still have the, the water tower with the Black & Decker thing on it. I just thought I would show you that. <laughs> so I am headed on out of town now, but I wanted you to see the water tower. Hey, we're at my mom's house. Um, and it's it's a beautiful day out here and I wanted I wanted to show you my mom's flowers we're actually getting ready to go we've been here for a visit but I wanted to show you some of her pretty irises look I don't know the names of them they're all different kinds I wanted to show you and she has this big azalea bush um, the blooms are coming off though but all these are irises can you know you recognize the big flat leaves here's one that hasn't bloomed yet she has, um, she has them in different colors. And these irises, sorry, I'm stepping in the leaves. These irises come from all over. Some of these she got from my aunt, some she got from my grandmother. There's some pretty purple ones over there. Some of them are just enormous, like this one's gonna be big. This one here, and I'll walk down here. These came from my dad's sister. Well, she was just telling me, um, Look how big that is. Isn't that beautiful? These um, came from my dad's sister's house many years ago. And all of these, I think, are the same. They're this great big, it's kind of windy out here. Great big irises. This is beautiful. And here we have a dogwood tree. There was a dogwood tree. There was another one right beside it, but it was struck by lightning about 20 years ago and it died. And the dogwood blooms are starting to fade on it. But um, I just wanted to walk you around a little bit out here and show you just a few of her irises before we go. There are a few more up close to the house I want to show you. They're really pretty. These are smaller. These are some of the little irises here. They're very tiny. Here's another one of the big purple ones. Um, this one's different. It's kind of a two-tone, like a lavender and then this darker color underneath. Here's one of the white ones that's getting ready to open. And over there, there's a bumblebee. I can't really get there from here, but some of those over there are kind of like a light yellow and burgundy. Really pretty. And some more white ones. Oh, that one got broken. We have some uh, liriope growing out here. Let's see if I can get around and show you these right here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. It's just nice. And then you can see 
walking on these little stepping stone things. Oops. Here's some more of the little ones. Oh, look at these. Well, these aren't irises. These are something else, but they're pretty. Whatever they are. <laughs> um, I don't know a lot about flowers and stuff, but those are pretty. Anyway, uh, who is bright out here? We're getting ready to go. But I just wanted to show you a few of her irises because I know the next time I come down here they won't still be blooming. So I wanted to show them to you now while I still could. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be really short because this is probably just going to show you the Black & Decker water tower and my mom's flowers. <laughs> so I asked my mom if she would talk to me briefly uh, in a video and she's not feeling too good. Um, she was out here earlier today. Um, she had old sandals. And uh, she has neuropathy in her feet, and she doesn't have a lot of feeling in her feet. And apparently she managed to step into a fire ant nest, and she did not realize it right away. And she has really bad fire ant bites all over her feet. And she's pretty doped up on Benadryl right now. So she said, I'd really rather not. I'd rather not be in your video today, if you don't mind. Maybe next time. So, anyway. I hope that you're having a good day, and I will... See you later.